Hey, welcome to all of you once again on your channel that is on J Physics Maniac. Uh, in the last video, we have discussed a question regarding a sliding bar and the cases of motion and EMF. And then on the basis of that video, I have given you another question. Uh, probably if you had written out that I have added two extra things into it. I have said that if the rod is given an initial velocity V0 to the left and the rod is acted upon by a constant external force capital F, then what will be the motion? So in any case, if you have missed the previous video here in the I button, I will give you the link. You can watch the previous video. And if you have missed the previous video, my advice will be do watch it out. Uh, then see the question. Try uh, once on your own or you can pause the screen to try on your own and then only see the solution. Okay, so let's proceed. So here in this case, what will happen? You see the moment the rod will start moving in the left or direction because of this velocity you see that this area will be decreasing and induced current will be in the counterclockwise direction. I will just quickly tell you, same logic we will follow here. We know that phi is equal to B into A and here you can see that the area is decreasing. So if the area is decreasing, then phi out, phi out is also decreasing. So if phi out is decreasing, then according to Lange's law, it has to be um, encouraged and if it has to be encouraged then the current has to be in that direction that is counterclockwise direction because of that only magnetic field will be in the perpendicular and up the page so anyway induced current will be counterclockwise so if the induced current is counterclockwise then in that case what will happen if you think about the rod then for the rod we will apply f magnetic is equal to i l cross b or simply you can apply the uh, right hand thumb rule also but anyway so i l cross b if i apply i l cross b l is in that direction that is along j cap so i l j cap cross b k cap now j cross k is i so i l b i cap so i cap means positive x axis so the magnetic force will be acting in the rightward direction that's a very interesting revealing because the external force was also acting in the rightward direction magnetic force is also acting in the rightward direction and both these two forces will break the rod that means whatever the velocity initially you have given to the left or direction both these forces will try to decrease the velocity so after a certain point of time the rod will eventually come to rest over here so initial i am going to discuss the motion of the rod from here to here then i will have the general discussion so for that I have written a simple equation capital F external force plus Fm is equal to minus m into a and from there I have done this calculation you can be uh, just pause the screen and go go through the calculation but again I will encourage you to do your own calculation because uh, I have told a couple of times that I am a self-proclaimed champion of making calculation mistake but anyway so if I calculate the values then probably I will get this time and this is the time after which the rod will come to rest while it is moving in the left or direction right so this is a very significant uh, calculation this is a very significant result rather i can say which will give us uh, specifically the time after which the rod is coming to rest now i will move further so when the rod is at rest but the constant external force has not stopped it is still acting so because of that what will happen the rod will again pick up speed in the rightward direction so now what will happen when the rod is again picking up speed in the rightward direction and this is the position where the rod has come to rest so from there onwards again if i apply the same chain of events phi equal to b into a area is increasing i'm talking about this area so area is increasing because of that phi out is again increasing for that then phi in has to be developed and for that phi in you know that the magnetic field will be downward and because of this magnetic field should be in the downward direction and the current induced current should be clockwise and if the induced current is clockwise then if you simply apply f magnetic vector is equal to i l cross b then you check current is clockwise so for the rod current will flow in this direction that is minus j cap magnetic field is minus j cross k so that will be the force force is coming to be minus i cap so that means on this rod the rightward external force is acting and leftward in this direction the magnetic force is acting so now these two forces are basically opposite to each other so as a uh, net result i will write f minus fm equal to m into a and then i am following the calculation 
so this is a really a humongous calculation and on the subsequent process of the calculation you will get velocity as a function of time like this so this is a huge number you can see now point is while doing the calculation this limit is very important and significant what did i do i have taken the limit from minus v naught to b why minus v naught because i am not now considering the situation from here my representation of calculation has started from this position this is t equal to zero did you get my point i am not taking this as t equal to zero no this is not t equal to zero t equal to zero i am fixing when it has started moving so that's why the limit is also from uh, you can see here the limit is from minus v naught to v naught so there you have to be extremely careful uh, so that you are not doing any kind of mistake over here and with that only i have moved ahead with the calculation so if you do that you will get the result as this one now point is that i will check whether i have done right or wrong so i will simply put t equal to zero in this previous equation and you can safely see that vt is coming to be minus v naught so that means it is correct if i put t tends to infinity you can see you are getting v equal to mrf by capital b square mol b square into m this entire quantity that is constant there is not a single variable in the center quantity so that means what that means the rod will achieve a terminal speed that means it will move with constant speed in the rightward direction if i want to plot the v versus t graph this is the v versus t graph at t equal to zero it was starting with minus v naught in the left -hand direction subsequently after this point of time this amount of time it is coming to rest so here the velocity is zero so that is t naught and then it is having the exponential variation right so now here i can derive few cases that in the absence of the external force if f equal to zero again i will put f equal to zero in this equation if I substitute f equal to 0, we will get v equal to v naught into e to the power minus of this. And you see what is the beautiful part. If you see the previous equation, if you see the previous equation, you are getting the same result. You have to, right? So these are the validation of the fact that whatever the concept that we have applied in these questions are going in the right direction. If you want to calculate x max, simply you can do 0 to infinity v t d t. If you integrate the result, you will get x max that is m v naught r by v square l square. I will also check here how much value we got in the previous day you see same thing so that's what the beauty of physics lies you know in whatever direction you go if you mix your condition properly if you go back to the primary stage and apply the concept you will get exactly the same thing time and again right now i do hope that you have enjoyed the video um, they, you will get some sheer help from the conceptual understanding part and you will know how to do things if you think so that it is useful for you please do subscribe and share help me to reach out to more and more subscribers and uh, all the very best for those hardworking people who are really working a very, very hard day and night to uh, prosper in the examination. Definitely will do good. All the very best. Thank you.